Hi, uh, this video is about LockView. So I've seen some posts, uh, people getting a little bit confused about how to install LockView or it not working for them when they're pretty sure that they've installed it correctly. I'm just gonna go through a rundown of the really basic settings and how you set it up just 100% the first time and hopefully that helps. And then I'm going to go into why it might not be working. And it's probably not your fault. It's actually probably uh, one of the modules that you have. Hi, it's uh, your friendly neighborhood game master here, just in post-production. The instructions for this will be down below in the description if you don't want to listen to me. They're slightly different because I'd written them up for a Reddit user, but it, it's basically the same. So let's first take a look um, at what I've got here. This is a brand new world. All I've done is created a new scene. Uh, and in that scene, I just put my splash page because most commonly lock view is used when you've got sort of a world splash page and it's there for your players to just sit on uh, while you're setting the scene or perhaps you're traveling or just, just uh, waiting for everybody to get in. So this is normally what it's used for, and you don't want players to be able to move around like this or zoom in and out um, or anything like that. That's generally what it's for. It's just to set an atmospheric scene. And this is mine. This is for my campaign. So what do we do? Well, the first thing we got to do is we got to configure lock view. So you've got to make sure you've got it installed. I've got this fresh install, no other modules, just lock view. So once that's installed and enabled, just go over to your configure settings in Foundry and then scroll all the way over to module settings and then user configuration. Now, this is where things get a little confusing. The way I explain this to myself is control means that LockView has the ability to control that person's view on the canvas. So it means that if I select the game master and players, that the game master and the players will have their views or can have their views controlled by this module lock view. So that's what we want. Ultimately, we want everybody's views on the canvas to be controlled by this module lock view. So that's perfect. The next is view box. And this is not important for this video, but basically it provides the game master a view of everybody's sort of look where they're looking at on the scene um, in the in the correct their monitors, you know, the players monitors uh, aspect ratio. So you're seeing what the players are seeing through their monitors. It's very useful, but we don't need that right now. So we want to control my screen and a player screen. Currently, no players are in this world, uh, but this would work exactly the same so we have done that do not worry for right now about screen width and green uh, grid size sorry this doesn't matter <coughs> <coughs> this only matters if you are making a custom or manual adjustments within lock view and right now we are not doing that. So you can just save those as whatever if you're going to be following my setup, which is typical. So once you've done that, head over to your scene up here, or you can do it over here into configure and then bring yourself on over to the lock view tab. So these are these are your two these are the, the two settings that you will want to use most. Lock pan and lock zoom. That's the crux of it. That's the special source. Once you select those, it will lock the pan and lock the zoom. Now, before you do that, you will want to select auto scale. Now, what this does, and it's the reason why we don't have to worry about screen size and grid size is that it will just scale to fit the screen. Uh, as it says here, automatically calculates uh, a scaling factor either to fit the scene uh, to the screen or some other stuff. Um, 
So you can choose any of these automatic fit outside. Uh, you obviously can't see the drop down, but there is a drop down. Uh, I'll post a in the edit a little screenshot of that. But I do automatic fit, so it just automatically fits it uh, using the uh, outside bounds. And then the next thing is if your player, if you want the scene to be constrained by the sidebar. Basically, so your scene it doesn't go past the sidebar, you'll want to say exclude that. And that basically just means that no matter what, you will have your scene be visible with the sidebar and chat open. Okay, that'll make 100% sense in a second. So once you've selected those things, so lock pan, lock zoom, uh, auto scale, and exclude sidebar, you are done. Everything else can be left at default. All you have to do is save changes. And as you can see, it just snapped there to the uh, settings that I had um, asked it to. And now I cannot move. I cannot, I cannot zoom. You can hear my scroll wheel. I cannot pan. I cannot do anything. And right here in basics, background color. Awesome. So why wouldn't it work? Why are you having trouble even if you followed my steps right down to the T? Uh, it's modules. You've got a module that's conflicting. And the module that I found to conflict the most was a module, or the actually I, I say conflict the most, but the module that I found conflicted with my particular module setup. And as you can see, I've got a lot of modules, though only about 70 of these, 70 of these are used for my everyday, everyday game, uh, is Ernie's Modern UI. Ernie's Modern UI does something uh, uh, with the canvas or the padding of the, the uh, sidebar. I can't, I can't determine which one it is, but it totally messes up the view that you're seeing in lock view. So if I save this module settings now, turn on Ernie's modern UI. But as you can see, I'm fully zoomed in somewhere uh, over on the right side of my screen. This is the bounding box and this is the background view. So if I go to configure and I just turn on lock view, turn off lock view, sorry. So I save so I can now pan and zoom, save that. I can zoom out a little bit and I can pan over and I see my screen. So something about this module completely ruins. And I'll just lock it again. So lock pan, lock zoom, save changes. It sends me all the way over. So something about this uh, module is completely messing up lock views, uh, settings, and how it interacts with the canvas and the cameras. So that's what I found with my particular setup. My suggestion is if you are having problems where you followed my settings down to the T uh, with no modules installed and it works and it doesn't work with your particular module, uh, module list, there's probably a UI module that is affecting it. For me, it was Ernie's uh, UI, which is a real shame, but I've had to stop using that. Um, I will make a ticket pretty much after I finish recording this video on Ernie's uh, um, Ernie's Modern UI repository um, de detailing this and hopefully we can get that fixed. And the reason I'm doing that on Ernie's and not on Lockview is because Lockview works with every other module that I have installed other than Ernie, other than the Modern UI. So yeah, I, it's very likely to be the modern UI, uh, exceptionally likely to be the modern UI that's messing with this. So that's the video. I probably recorded way too long. This recording ended up being 10 minutes, so I'm really sorry if this is a 10 minute video. Um, yeah, hopefully this helps and uh, happy gaming.